They're thinking they can go lateral and get on the outside to Patsadze, but you've got to be finishing them off. That's the one that got away, definitely. That's a five-pointer gone, gone begging. Can Wales get the choreography right? It's being defended pretty well at the moment by the Georgians, but it's creeping forward towards that Georgian line. Here goes George North. They now need to produce it quickly. Dowie Lake! Georgia have come offside. Williams and over first Thomas Francis. Well, they made rather a hash of it a couple of moments ago, but that was clinical from Wales. Shifting the point of Maul, isn't it? Dropping it back to the front, getting a bit of momentum. George North through the initial dent gives him that momentum, and then it's just about running hard. There we lay three men to bring him down. Quick ruck ball back against the grain, not stopping a man of Tom Francis's size from there. I don't think there is a clear option. Here goes Dowie Lake, finds Rowlands. Let's see if Wales can be clinical with this. There it is for Williams. On there to Costello, there's Liam Williams, the step one way, a second way, and then his momentum carries him over. Well, how important it is that this fella retains his fitness and his form. Liam Williams, who's not had the easiest couple of years with injuries, but He's such a vital cog in this side. Yeah, and it's Liam Williams with a finish, but it's Costello with a delay pass. Obviously, the, the mall is going forward. They play wide quickly. Tompkins out the back, the show, the little pump into out Liam Williams. Kind of think Rizam, it'll be a bit good. He didn't put him in on a two-on-one, but it's that ball over the top, isn't it? Delay pass. Great finish, Liam Williams, but it's Costello's pass that makes it. So how do Wales defend this Georgia Mall? The answer at the moment is very well. They're calling in the reinforcements. Kavashaladze is in there. Look, wearing 13. Former Gloucester player. Over oh, bursting out. That was Getatech uh, Laze. There it is again. I think Saganadze is going to have a bit of a bash. There he goes. Lobchenitsa. The captain has a go. Sharikadze. And he's got there. Well, the Georgians determined to make a match of it. I think we all thought this ball had been held up in the mall, didn't we? Certainly the crowd did. Georgia get it out, and it's that short ball, isn't it? A lot of movement out the back. Just takes the eye line. I think it's of Nick Tompkins. Soft shoulder. Sharikadze. The great finish. That was Karkadze again, the replacement hooker. That's Kadesha Ladza. Gloucester fans may well remember him. He had a couple of seasons. At King's home, Lobchenitsa just for a moment saw a little shaft of light. Well, that was a loose pass from Kavishaladze, and now Lewis Rees-Samit, who I think it's fair to say is the fastest man at this World Cup, and on that occasion, he didn't really need to be. <laughs> that was a gift. Well, me and Jamie just looked at ourselves, and we, we didn't even have to say nothing in commentary. That's try time. Open space, green space in front of him, that man scores, but... I'm glad he took his time there because he hasn't really had the ball much, as he? His hamstrings are a little bit tight, but when he lets them go, boy, can they go. Reese Samet in space is absolutely lethal, and George will be disappointed with that. Felt George North got lucky, maybe, with not running away a couple of phases beforehand. But it's a loose pass, isn't it? It's cost him seven points. It's a real blow for George at the start of the second half. Ball taken into the contact by the try scorer, the captain, Sharikadze. There's Lobzhenitsa. To Jalagonia. And there are Wainwright holding him up, also getting some help from Tompkins. Lobzhenitsa still has it though. It was a real opportunity. Sarganadze finds the port out wide, and Papo 
But he thinks he's got in. It's very, very tight indeed. Yeah, I think Rio Dai has just done enough there to drag okay, the leg of Tabutadze into touch. Have a quick check, please, BP. OK, on-field decision and touch. Yeah. We'll check the grounding and touch line. Now, bursting out, and there he goes, there's Karkadze, there's the ball, the arm is out from the referee, so it's a penalty advantage. That meant Saganadze has his hands on it. Good Welsh defence at the moment. This is what four years ago really characterised Wales' World Cup campaign. Well, they think they've got there, and so does Mathieu Reynal. And it is the hooker, Vano Karkatze. This game is far from over. Interestingly, Wales don't compete this time. Penalty advantage from the Maul. Wales coming in offside, and from there on in, it's just pure power. Well, it is the part of their game which is the top line on their calling card. Here's the captain with the carry, Sharakatsa, the score of their first try. Atrazitsa. Niniashvili, and Niniashvili is through, and he's going to score. And now Georgia really are going to test Wales. This fella, I've always thought he's got a bit of the Johnny May about him. He creates tries from the most unlikely of spots. He's got real pace and he's got quite a step as well. The worst defence have just fills over far too quickly. The pass to Nini Ashley. I don't even know if it's meant to go for him. It's that deep. It's an easy handoff on Gareth Davis and he goes round Nicky Smith far too easy, untouched. It's Nicky Smith, isn't it? You talk about distribution in defence. Nicky Smith is left isolated inside Gareth Davis. And for Nini Ashvili, he can pick that off every day of the week. What a finish. Still 14 minutes to go. Well, there's a match still to win and a casualty count for Wales to be done once the final whistle has passed. That looks very concerning for Tulupi Palatau. Here's Gareth Davis. Well, there goes Tompkins. George North wants it. The space out wide here for Liam Williams. Liam Williams with a chip ahead. Look at Lewis Reese Seven. He's after it. And the wingers grabbed it. A second try for the wing. Great kick, great finish. Not quite sure that wasn't a forward pass and George North. I think the TMO will have a look at it. Yeah, it's the first time we've seen him really get on that. Get some width on the plate. And it's the first time we've real, seen real width from Wales. How many that ball just seems to be glued to Lucy Sam. As soon as he kicks that ball, you almost expect it to bounce back into his hands. That's the first real time we've seen it get to the touchline. Lovely little kick through. And again, just the pace got him there in front of two Georgian defenders. But it's it's wearing the red protective headgear. Catch there from Davis and from Costello. There's Rizamek. Kicks chases himself. George North is after it, but Lewis Rizamek's going to win that race. Oh, he couldn't control it, could he? He's got his arm up. He's looking for something. What do you want to check? Well, Brendan Tickrell's taking a close look. Okay. It would appear that Brendan Tickrell has given that the thumbs up. Technically, they do have until the restart to think again. That angle from behind appeared to tell a slightly different story to the one from behind the goal line. It's been quite an afternoon, hasn't it, for Lewis Rees Amit? Ball presented there by Nicky Smith. From the shade into the sunshine. Can they finish off with a bit of a flourish? And the answer is yes, and it's George North who does it. 
So in the end, despite a few wobbles en route, Wales will win this final contest in the pool, going away. Yeah, it's a lot of cleverly worked move. Elliot D on the inside ball there, gets way over the gain line. Lovely flat, fat pass. And that time, Lewis Rissam had been the provider, George North. Well, he knows what to do on the wing there, doesn't he? He's played there so many times, holds his width, and the rest is history. Reasons to be cheerful for Wales and Warren Gatlin. What a month it's been. The dark days of defeat to Georgia last November now must feel as if they are a million miles away. Wales resounding winners at full sea, and they can now prepare for their march on Marseille and a quarter-final next Saturday.